Hello students, welcome to our technical training and placement program. Today we are going to show you how to create and activate a new Amazon Web Service account. So I am going to show you from the Amazon site only. So this is the official uh, video documentation for creating the uh, account and activate that account. Please uh, listen and see carefully and apply in your system. My name is Jamie and I'm a supporting member here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Sometimes potential customers ask me how they can create and activate a new AWS account. Let me walk you through the process. So first go to the Amazon Web Services homepage. That would be aws.amazon.com. Then you would choose create a new AWS account, which you'll find at the top right hand side corner of the page. As you can see, you are now required to enter your account information, such as email address, password, and your AWS account name. For this example, I have used my information. So you can select continue once you've entered all of the information. You will then be presented to select the account type, which would be professional or personal. These two account types are identical in functionality. And for this example, I'm choosing the personal option. You can insert company or personal information. For this example, I will enter all my personal details. So after you've inserted all the requested information, you can review the AWS customer agreement. Once you've reviewed the information, you can click the checkbox. You will then choose create account and continue. After you hit create account, you will receive an email confirmation to inform you that your account has been created successfully. You will be able to sign into your new account using the email address and password that you have supplied. However, you must continue with the account activation process before you can use the AWS services. On the next page, you will be presented with the payment information section. You will type in your credit card or debit card number and the name associated with your card. If the address for your card is the same as the address you provided for your account, choose continue. Otherwise, choose use a new address and type the billing address for your card and then choose verify and add. On the identity verification page, type a phone number that you can use to accept incoming calls. When you're ready to receive a call, choose call me now and an automated system will call you. Tap the provided pin on your phone's keypad. After the process has completed successfully, choose continue to select your support plan. On the support plan page, choose one of the available support plans and then choose continue. You can review the description of each support plan, but for this example, I'm going to choose the basic plan, which is free. After you've chosen a support plan, a confirmation page will indicate that your account is being activated. Accounts are usually activated within a few minutes, but sometimes account activation can take up to 24 hours to be completed. You can sign into the AWS account during this time. However, the AWS homepage might continue to have a button that reads complete sign up during this time, even if you've already completed all the steps successfully. When your account is fully activated, you'll receive a confirmation email. After you receive this email, you will have full access to all AWS services. If it's been longer than 24 hours, here are some things to check. Make sure you've successfully verified your phone number. Check that the information associated with your payment method is correct. If you've confirmed the details are correct and you're still getting an error message, please contact your financial institution. Lastly, also check your emails to see if AWS needs any information from you to complete the activation process. 
Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.